Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. Wow, international craft beer. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. This is a special treat right here. This is from the Einstock Brewery. Now, don't ask me to pronounce the city that they're located in, but they're in Iceland. And this is the Icelandic White Ale. Some people refer to this as a wit beer. In German, it's a white ale. What can I tell you? Now, usually there's a little bit of yeast that's added to the canning or bottling process. So I don't understand this best before date on the bottom, which says we should enjoy it before September of 2023. I kind of differ with that. Unless there's no yeast added to this, then technically it wouldn't be a wit beer. Uh, but at any rate, it's brewed with uh, orange peel and coriander. So I'm thinking it's going to be rather tasty. Let's put it over here away from our electronics. There we go. By the way, because this is an international beer, um, it's 330 milliliter can which translates to 11.2 ounces here in the States. And by the way, I'm using our special glassware here. Well, you can't quite see it right now. I'll pour some more beer in there so you can see the logo. And by the way, when you have a, a beer that it, uh, may have some yeast added to it, be careful when you pour it. So we're going to save water, drink beer. Now, this is an extremely pale golden color, as you would expect from this type of beer. So if there is yeast in there, it's not going to hurt you to drink it. What you do is swirl the contents around in the bottom of the can, and then you pour it in. And that's when you get all that liquid loveliness into it. That's what I refer to it as. Now, I see it coming down from the top. It is changing complexion. It is becoming more hazy, and it is lively carbonated, which indicates to me that it does have a bit of yeast added there at the canning process, because that lively carbonation wouldn't happen on its own. So let's go ahead and see what kind of aroma we have here. Oh, man. Picking up that yeasty aroma. Picking up that coriander, but I'm not picking up that orange peel. But I tell you what, I want to thank the brewers. Let me switch hands here. Thank the brewers at uh, Einstock Brewery in Iceland for all the hard work they did to brew this batch of beer, and everyone responsible for getting it to America. Cheers to all of them and everyone at home for watching. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a good one. Smooth and easy drinking. Yeah, I don't think I told you the IBUs. I think I wrote them down here. Bear with me. Uh, no, I didn't write them down here. Uh, one moment here. Let's see if I can read on the can. I think it was 4.8%. You know what? We're going to go with 4.8% because I don't want to take all day to find it on here. I believe that's what it was, which sounds about right for a uh, a wit beer. Wit beers are not high in alcohol and very low IBUs. Now, I pick up the uh, the orange here. Let's see what else I can find. You know what? I get the coriander in the nose, but I'm not picking it up in the flavor, which is good. You don't want to like top-heavy coriander on a beer. But, man, look at the lacing that's leaving on the side of the glass. Mm-hmm. It's a very well-crafted beer. I've had several styles of beer from uh, Einstock, and they've all been killer. Man, I'm telling you, that roasted porter is really good. Now, it's it's odd that this brewery, which is in Iceland, would brew a beer that is associated with spring and summer. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe they uh, need a break from all that uh, cold weather, and, and this transports them to a warmer climate, perhaps. I don't know. This is a light body beer. What I would describe as medium to high carbonation, there's quite a bit of carbonation in here, but it's not going to deter you from drinking a beer. It's just because the yeast is added at the canning process, and that brings about the carbonation. But it is lovely tasting. This beer would do well all on its own. But if you're going to pair it with food, I would pair it with lighter dishes like salads and soups, maybe a, a light sandwich, certainly not uh, steak and potato. This is not a steak and potato type of beer. So at any rate, uh, one more time from the Einstock Brewery in Iceland. Yeah, the uh, white ale, it's a great beer. I'll tell you, if you could find it, you should try it. Matter of fact, life is short. You got to try new things. Dr. Dave says so. <laughs> hey, with that in mind, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best goodbyes. <laughs> and as always, cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here.
Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.